Last but not the least, Ooh, I know that you might know what's inside. Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. This one is going to be a very special one if I may say so. I am currently at home and I plan on staying here for a little bit but long story short in today's video I will be showing you bits and bobs of my new wardrobe. I'm very much excited for it. I'm gonna change because I'm currently in a very leisure wear but I'm gonna change, get ready and before I actually get into the wardrobe because I want to like organize it together with you. I have some new gifts that I have received and bits and bobs and some things that I have purchased. Can you see an orange box? That I want to show you. So I think we should start with unpacking my new items and then we should put them all together in my new wardrobe. Who agrees? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Now this is not going to be an unboxing video but this is going to be me showing you my wardrobe. However, I have a lot of really incredibly nice pieces that I want to place in my new wardrobe. And in order to do that, we need to open them. I thought like, who do I love to unbox my stuff and share first impressions with more than you guys? Nobody, okay? Because I love sharing this with you. So let's get straight into it. Before you're wondering, I have some new things from Jimmy Choo, Hermes, Ambush, Lily Silk Moon Boot to show you. I shopped something at their mess quite a long ago and I haven't actually ever unboxed it, so I thought this could be a perfect opportunity to do it all together. Let's start. Now, I haven't unboxed anything from Lily Silk in a very long time now, I think. So let's start with that because everything else I've kind of shown you here and there. You guys know Lily Silk from my channels. I have been actually wearing their pieces for a very long time in both silk and cashmere. In fact, I just wore in the previous video the black hoodie that you guys asked me for. It's probably like a year old and it's in such a great condition. Now Lily Silk has anything and everything you can imagine with silk from like leisure wear, pajamas to more kind of like ready to wear such as shirts and dresses and they have incredible expertise in silk. I think I read somewhere that they have more than like 12 years expertise in silk and the finest silk that is. I have to say that their silk is really top quality and I even have like bedding and pillowcases from Lily Silk. Now I'm sure you know about this brand because I don't know like people like Gwyneth Paltrow and Nina Dobrev and many others, they, they love Lily Silk. So, you know, don't we all? Let's start with the first item. I can't even, because they're all like individually packed so beautifully. I can't even, I don't even know what's in each. So, like I told you at the very beginning, there's also a beautiful array of cashmere pieces. When I saw these pants, you will know immediately that this is me. When I saw these, I knew that I had to have them. Now, these are the cashmere sort of like camel colored. Now look at this. Does this scream me? Look how much I love ripped cashmere. I love it. So these are like kind of lounge wear pants. I might have a few long haul flights. And don't you just want to travel in comfy, chic cashmere lounge wear that looks amazing? Just love it. I, I really, really love it. As much as I love their silk, I also love their cashmere. And I think it's so beautiful. Such a gorgeous color. This also like for autumn when my house is all perfect and ready. I can't wait to spend my days in these pants. We all agree that you know we need good loungewear actually in my previous video someone just asked me if i could do a loungewear edit so here we go very easy and to match it because i can't just you know go not like full set so we have sort of a hoodie a cashmere hoodie which is also ribbed and this is pretty similar to the black one that i have it's just like the black one from lily silk that i had for like over a year is actually not ribbed it's kind of like smooth but i think i really love this for more like casual vibe i just love ripped cashmere i don't know why it's a big passion of mine it is what it is really really cute i love this color i think this color really suits me this is basically the color of chai that i like also when it's made it's basically pure perfection also inside of the box it says we want to inspire people to live a better life and a more sustainable lifestyle our care for one another and the planet is what drives us i think that's really beautiful two more pieces let's Let's see, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is so beautiful. Now, this is one of my absolute, absolute favorite color, like oatmeal and this kind of like a warm gray are my perfect colors for fall season. I just love these kind of like thin, 
perfect, warm enough, but not too heavy and not too hot cashmere pieces. For me personally, these kind of materials, like materials are all that matters for me to feel comfortable and cozy, but also like chic, no matter if I'm at home or not. But I think materials are the most important. And I feel like it doesn't matter which brand it is, it doesn't matter what design it is, but when I'm in materials such as like silk or cotton or cashmere, I feel so much better than, I don't know what the designer is, but it's not a good material. So I think materials are the most important things. And this is why I think that, especially like when it's such a premium quality and classic design, uh, those are the kind of pieces that I would like to invest my money in and spend my money on. But especially when a Lily Silk, you can get these pieces for a good price. If I do happen to have a little discount code for you, I will put it on the screen now so that you can have benefits as well while shopping because your girl loves you and you guys deserve it. Finally, I couldn't not get a silk piece because I mean I feel great in cashmere but silk is just when it's on your body it just feels so good I think that this is a jumpsuit right yes okay so like when I try it on I will show you how perfect it is on I'm just gonna like briefly steam it before I try it on it's so beautiful like I love this olive green color it's like a full length and it's simply gorgeous love it be right back okay so this olive green sort of like jumpsuit is perfect i got a size medium because i like to be able to also wear it as loungewear not just as outside but i think it's very elegant so you can actually end up wearing it as loungewear just look at the quality of this silk and the look and the shine and the softness i think it's absolutely gorgeous let me know what you guys think i'm gonna try it all on or you've already probably seen me fit everything on but i just think these pieces are utterly stunning oh i think i had another little bag over here let's open it wait a second it's my favorite kind of little bralette this one is size medium it's cashmere and i love wearing these under big chunky cardigans or under turtlenecks i always like to have a little crop something like soft and nice and this is just so gorgeous love the color love the like vibe we're gonna see how it all is like kind of like style but even with jeans and a blazer to have like a nice little cashmere kind of bralette top next to your body i always thing is like amazing so those are the five items that i got from lily silk which one was your favorite let me know also the discount code for you to use it's here check it out i will link every product in the description box below so you guys can enjoy it let's get to jimmy Choo. now i have to warn you guys there will be a lot of shoes in the rest of the haul, and we need to organize that shoe section in my wardrobe so jimmy Choo, we got two pairs of shoes oh. Okay, these are just insane. We have a classic black pump. They have this clear strap in the middle just to keep everything in place and a gorgeous anklet, which is quite structured to sit around the ankle, obviously. I love the way the heel is shaped. I'm very, very much into Jimmy Choo heels, especially what I've been wearing most of the time nowadays. Really, really love them. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Very classic and very chic. That's what I've been into lately. And then we also have something huge. <gasps> I forgot about these. Okay, these are teal ish navy velvet wedge boots. Now, you guys have seen the crystal ones from London Fashion Week. These are basically similar to the velvet version. I remember seeing these in real life at the Milan Fashion Week presentation last February and falling in love with them. And look at this. I also remember from the crystal ones that they're so comfortable. Oh, also, I love this velvet. It's so gorgeous. Love them, love them, love them. I'm 39, 40 in shoes. In my shoes, I'm 40. And that is it. I'll link them below. I'll also link the sparkly ones in case you want to get them because I think they're just like such an extra, extra boot. And I love it. I got a lot of accessories from Ambush just because I love these kind of... I don't even know how to explain like little accessories and jewelry i will try and find these if i can find them because i know you guys love to shop jewelry and we have quite a similar taste so let me show you what i got i got this necklace 
with a little strawberry that has a silver top so it's like two metal tones i just think it's super cute the little strawberry so cute okay then i got another strawberry ah but this is the earring i love this i really really love ambush jewelry who remembers the key that i had many many years ago now this one has a safety pin which i think makes it super cool and then you basically close the earring and you have this little strawberry at the end how cute very wow created so much mess guys with packaging i love this i know why i got this i got this little heart ring because i actually wanted to wear it on my pinky can you see it it's like a heart shaped ring it's like a half silver half gold but i think i also it also fits here i think it's very cute so freaking cute love it then last accessory from ambush i got these very pharmacist earrings because let's not forget that your girl is a pharmacist i actually really love these it's basically like a little tablet earring with kind of imprint that you have on tablets usually they kind of help differentiate them and then a little capsule that says ambush 20 milligrams how cute i mean you know you just have to right oh i have something else that i actually forgot about i don't know what it is it's a necklace ah it's a safety pin necklace that opens up oh, just like a safety pin if i can find this i will definitely link it below because i think it's super cute okay and it's mix of metals so it's very easy to wear i think it's just like quite fun for like a bit of grungier mood here we go do you like it i think it's quite fun okay so that's the jewelry sort of section we got two different pairs of boots more we have something from ah it's alanui and moon boot and i could not not get these i think they're so cool and you guys know how excited i am to be going to mountains i have not booked anything i've not planned anything yet i do not have any plans to go to mountains but i have the boots okay are these cool or what they're very chunky i love moon boots look at the detailing in the front i don't know how the sizes work for moon boots i think they go like medium large something like that mine are in size Ah no okay mine are 39 to 41 i'm 40 so it's gonna be perfect look inside they're like warm and shirling and i think that i could style these so well they will be absolutely gorgeous 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 so very very happy i think so cute can't wait for them to go straight on the shelf i also got a pair of ambush sandals that i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep but i like them a lot what do you guys think i need your input just because now i feel like i'm getting more into autumn winter however i do have some other like more springy activities planned as well and this is the color that i really like what do you guys think very chunky very cool chunky heel in the front it's full and padded they do look very cool like especially with like baggy jeans trousers and they're very very comfy look how much legalization you get so i really do like them it's just that i'm like so in this mood ah these are so fun anyway last but not the least Ooh, i know that you might know what's inside i have to tell you something honestly i got this in august and i never managed to unbox them for many reasons i don't even know why i was traveling then it was fashion week then it was like just a lot of things and then in the end uh here we are in almost well in november yeah in november unboxing there is we all know now that these are the shoelaces and in here something that it's not a cowboy boots from hermes it's something that you can completely guess because you guys know that i love them we have same as my shoes it's just that these are the kelly boots now look at these how gorgeous are these so i have the shoe i love the shoe i think it's amazing but i think there's certain times that i do want to wear boots like with a skinny jean or something like that or even with a skirt i just love the edge that the boots always give and when i saw them i was like okay i definitely 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 need them what size did i get because i remember there was a bit of a size situation nobody knows 39 and a half and i'm 39 40 i got 39 and a half i think the kelly buckle it's stunning the laces are stunning the black leather chic i think this season hermes just did the best job with shoes so now who is going to help me tidy all of this up pretty please and then we can proceed to my wardrobe 
Okay guys, are you ready? Because I'm so ready to do the special reveal. Let's start with first things first. First of all, I am continue in the Lily Silk Cashmere Turtleneck for many reasons, but one of them is because this is so versatile and feel comfortable. Like 100% cashmere feels so good on my skin and I love wearing it at home just like I love wearing it outside. So let's proceed with the wardrobe. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did mention that I got a furniture piece that I literally feel like is the best furniture piece that I've ever had in my whole entire life. It's the most incredible furniture piece, something that I wanted for the entirety of my life. And I'm presenting it to you here. This is La Terrazza. It's a very, very special sofa. And I really wanted to have like a chaise long or some kind of like a sofa in my my wardrobe, a place where in the morning when I wake up I sit, I have my coffee, as you can see my agenda is here, I basically like journal in the morning, I make plans, I write down exactly what my sort of intentions are for the day, what goals, like all the positives of the day and this is my precious spot. I just love it so much. It's vintage, it's been restored especially for me and I really enjoy the mornings here. Now that is sort of like at the end of the very bottom of the wardrobe. One thing I have to tell you honestly is that the wardrobe is not 1000% complete. There are a few things that I still have to do like I have to mount the mirror on the wall. There's another mirror coming on the other side. There are like a few things that I will talk you through but I just did not want to wait forever and also because should I have postponed this even more I wouldn't be able to actually vlog in here because of the reveal right so yeah next to my terrazza which is basically the only piece of furniture in this room i also have this little table from end tradition i sourced this vintage like i told you from seconda giovinezza which who is like basically a person that i always go to when we are going for vintage uh, furniture because i always know that his furniture is authentic and in great condition over there as you can see i have my hand luggage from Vuitton that I just picked up. I actually have two. The other one I think is in Filippo's wardrobe room. We also have a little bit of storage space at the back there, but it's very tidy. It's just for like kind of my, some of my filming stuff, bits and bobs that I need. Now on to the grand reveal. Now I've actually filmed the whole video where you see me putting everything up and doing everything in. And I even did a little reel, which I think by this point should be live on my Instagram channel. Now I, I lost that as the card, so that's all gone. The wardrobe, however, was made by Formato Sustainable. And I'm just telling you honestly, like everything how it is, I paid for the wardrobe. I designed it myself, every single bit how I wanted it. But you guys always ask these questions and want to know. I don't want to like share every little nook and cranny and show you every single detail, but uh, yeah, for so many reasons, including safety reasons. But I just want to kind of like show you the room as it is because I do think it's beautiful and I'm very very happy with how we've done it. Now the shoe shelves I'm sure you all want to know about. These are the shoe shelves. I really love that we've installed the LEDs like as you can see all around everywhere so that everything can be just like so visible and even if it's dark at night wait I'll switch off the lights. No lights. I basically get so much visibility and we're back on. We have two different separate sections for lights so you can kind of have it off. When it comes to shoes, for me it was just important to have kind of like more or less different sizes of the shelves. You will see that there are like some bigger shelves over there. There are obviously some much 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 taller shelves for the boots. But we kind of measured everything and made sure that things make sense ba based on my needs. These shelves they fit around 100 pairs of shoes which for me is definitely enough including all seasons really but i will be changing out a lot of the sandals because i think i have like 40 pairs of sandals here that i definitely won't be needing now that we're coming into autumn winter and the reason why i want to take them out is just because i don't really need to see all of this like i don't really need to have these so i will pack it all away this week i will send it away i don't anymore something that you guys might know keep all of my things in one place despite the fact that we have all the like metals that go all around um the windows we have like you will probably see as we're vlogging around as well cameras everywhere we have like basically every possible single security in place but i don't actually keep anything in the same place at the same time anymore you will see that i don't have all of my bags in one place and it's just like a precaution because I don't think we need any more dramas. So 
the sandals are leaving I will be kind of like putting more boots and shoes and sneakers even because I don't have any sneakers here either at the moment because I don't really tend to wear sneakers during the summer months but as we're heading into fall winter and spring I will probably need way more sneakers so we're gonna like alternate all of that I have a huge sneaker collection but um, none of them are here as you can see in my flat shoe section now this mirror over here is not mounted on the wall it should be but it's not so we are just going to try and like put that up one of these days so that everything is a bit more perfect when i am actually doing my ootds i know you guys always want to see some of the shoes i am actually planning a little updated shoe collection but i don't actually know when to do it and as you can see we even have some space for more i mean isn't that just the best we literally have a lot more space than i even expected especially considering that you know i can always change these up we don't have some space for more bags isn't that incredible like last two shelves are basically empty and i still have my spring summer bags on or like very very beachy bags i would say on the bottom shelf and i have some like more evening clutches as you can see here i have some of kind of like my more versatile ones all of these colorful ones are actually getting packed and leaving as you will see i only have a few of my hermes bags here i think they're like five or six missing not exactly sure how many but basically very very few and i change these things up a lot things go i, I just don't keep everything anymore more in one place i just keep a few things that i wear at once and that's about it here i have some of my larger bags that i use for like travel this is probably like my most worn chanel xxl i love it so much my eye care bag and yeah that's pretty much this wall over here i have a little bit of a, like a longer uh hanging section and it's not that big because i mainly keep the summer dresses here i will swap this for coats as we get now into like you can already see some of the coats uh, at the end like including my new max mara coat and the pink leather prada but i actually have like a coat, coat wardrobe so that's not like necessary for me to be in this wardrobe i have a lot of extra space that is unused i just need more hangers this is a little short skirt and one long skirt area over here as you can see kind of like mix of spring summer and winter because actually i don't really have that many skirts then i have some of the shorter blazers here those include my like tweed jackets blazers kind of like a lot of the evening options like a lot of my chanel jackets and bits and bobs like that then i have my shirts my white shirts on the left side of the corner and kind of like colorful denim etc i like i said i have a lot of space left i don't know if you can see in the middle but i wanted to utilize all of this space since we were building this in then at the bottom i have more like evening tops and and just like white tops separated in two sections too i have some of my jackets here denim jackets leather jackets all sorts like you know this bad boy here this is also a new jacket by the way it's an um, ambush shirling jacket saint laurent leather louis vuitton leather like some really cool pieces denims and some of the day dresses now i think i took out most of the summer dresses from here but we have more evening dresses here now these are my like valentino magda Butrum, and basically everything from this side on here uh is Saint Laurent and that Rick Owens <laughs> but that's basically it those are kind of like three dress brands that I always go for then in the middle here we have my trousers I love trousers I have probably like most of everything is trousers and blazers something's missing there but I think I just wore something today jackets blazers again I have a lot of more space because I took out all the pinks blues greens sages etc that I normally wear in spring I took it all out what is this I've never worn it clearly <laughs> just arrived my new off-white suit yeah it still has tags and i noticed that it has still on when it was like september and august once it was done it was mainly like pink suits a lot like of different kind of colors but rarely really left much color in my wardrobe as you can see like a pink coat and like bits and bobs here and there but not that much color just as much as i'm comfortable with or as much as i actually plan on wearing i have a lot of jeans knits kind of like a foldy area i really needed it and then i have some drawers because girl needs her drawers right i don't think there'll be anything that exciting here so i'm like you know accessories 
Um, these are like my Kate tops. <laughs> this is just basically a Kate dedicated drawer. Am I a bit crazy? I don't know. Then we have like some more like crop tops, t-shirts, sparkly tops, like all kind of, but like these are kind of very, very small tops, you know, like not very structured. Then we have a swimwear drawer. These are my swing suits. I also designed something with Formato Sustainable that is my kind of like a belt drawer exactly made for my needs. I have my sunglasses drawer because I love sunglasses, nothing new. I also have like a random drawer that is going to be SLG drawer probably, but at the moment <laughs> I keep nothing in here. Just like things when I'm packing my bag that I might need. And then I keep my fashion jewelry so that you will not find any like precious pieces here. There is like basically my favorite pieces like Misoma. I don't even know what this is. This is more Misoma, like a Chanel. This is all like, you know, just fun stuff to play with. Misoma Fried Powers, Monica Vinader, Fendi, Saint Laurent, more Misoma, Miu Miu, more more Misoma, more Saint Laurent, more Fendi, mainly fun stuff. Like if you find something here that is like more valuable, it would just be because I took it off for a second and put it there while like showering, etc. But I do not keep any of my jewelry anymore just like here because I learned my lesson and because I keep everything either in bank or very, very few items in a safe. So that's that. And the only thing that I haven't actually mentioned are these storage units on top. I actually, to reach them, I needed to buy this little step because it is quite high up, but I actually don't really have much there at the moment in that one are boxes, but I just have a lot, a lot, a lot of storage space, which I need also for suitcases and a lot of different things that I always feel are very, very useful. Here I keep my like underwear, socks and t-shirts for sleeping. So nothing exciting. And that's basically it, you guys. That is like a quick tour of my wardrobe. I hope you liked it. I really love it. I love spending a lot of time here on my favorite piece of furniture that I've ever had in my whole entire life. I don't know and I don't think there's anything else that I need in this room. I just feel like I might get one more mirror here so that I can see my outfits from front and back and I might get a mirror with like full lights all around so that when I'm packing at night, in the evenings, etc. I can try on my outfits and take good pictures. But other than that, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if I missed out on something. I actually toyed up with a thought of having an island in the middle but I didn't want to because I love to have a space in the middle to like open my suitcase. My boyfriend would like sit on this couch and if I'm packing, he would just sit there, be my favorite Grillo Parlante, which is basically Jeremy Cricket, and <laughs> tell me what he thinks I should pack and not, which I actually love. It's one of our favorite, well, my favorite rituals, including him. And um, yeah, I just really love how it turned out because I can chill here, stay here and read a book, drink a coffee, burn the candle and you know just watch a video while I'm tidying I, I really really like it so let me know if you think there's anything else that I should get any thoughts advice I know a lot of people always comment on velvet hangers they say like you should get velvet hangers because lots more things fit they're thinner things don't slip but actually the truth is that I don't really enjoy having velvet hangers I don't like the look of them I like to have more space between pieces so that they don't like kiss each other because keep in mind that in in Brighton home I do have like I think or I used to have mainly velvet hangers and yes they fit so much more but the clothes are just too intimate so yeah that's it gonna enjoy my afternoon now in this favorite spot of the house and I'll see you in my next one thank you so much bye guys